regional regions and kind of tie that into time control technology, how we were talking about that and the Mandela effect just about a week ago. Um, that's about it. Salutations. Let's talk about electron diffusional regions. All right. I want to talk about that because of due to the Mandela effect and time control science that we we're recently talking about. Okay. What an electron diffusional region is is the magnetic fields of the Earth itself and the magnetic fields of the Sun have these conjoining points. All right. That actually they say open up every eight hours, all right? So this is actually magnetic fields connected between the sun and the earth. And right now, NASA's doing a lot of research on this. They've got satellites out there doing telemetry on this. So this isn't just talk, all right? This is a true wormhole. And what this goes into, as far as what we talked about time control science, is <clears throat> frame dragging, all right? We discussed frame dragging, which is actually the earth has actually a mass like the Earth has a frame drag uh, actually distorts time and space around it which goes into closed time-like curves and actually frame dragging all right which is where we have a lot of free energy and things like that that are actually a capability there all right this also goes into something that we've talked about that is actually being done right now as far as time science goes called subliminal propagation of information all right which is sending information backwards through time at the speed of light. Now, when we start dealing with wormholes, even though these are just magnetic with, the, with these uh, regions here we're talking about, that takes us into the, what are type one civilizations, all right? Once we become a type one civilization, we start no longer using fossil fuels. Instead, we're using the, plant, the parent star as a power source, all right? So that's just something to kind of keep in mind there. And I, I advise everyone, when looking at that, to look at the SOHO website, all right? The SOHO website that NASA and JPL does, they've got satellite out there that is looking at the sun, clicking images like every couple of minutes. So you can go back, if you look at that website, look at the data archives, you can look at the sun in any different spectrums also. And you see UFOs going in and out of it can be seen all the time. Things deflecting solar flares that are almost earth directed. You can get on YouTube and type in SOHO satellite and UFOs and all sorts of stuff will come up. So I just wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit and how that actually ties into uh, time control technology and free energy. All right, And this is also a very possible way for information to be sent into the past to alter timelines using these electron diffusional regions. Thank you very much. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. I get a lot of views. Please subscribe. I want to thank everybody all over the world that seems to be watching these. Thank you very much. I do this in the name of consciousness and the creator. God bless.